First of all, I have to ask you, um, of course, before the, this or after this poll, we had this situation where uh, she had uh, revealed this policy on public sector pay outside London. It's really backfired badly. And this, perhaps, uh, some are suggesting, uh, puts her judgment as a future prime minister in question. Oh, well, I don't think that's the case. Look, we've seen Rishi Sunak's team sort of flip-flop around on nine different things in the last couple of weeks. What Liz outlined yesterday was a package around dealing with Whitehall waste. Within that was uh, this idea around what you do with new people coming into the civil service who are working around the country. But she's been clear that we're not going to take that part of it forward. But we do need to deal with Whitehall waste because that's something that is about how we spend taxpayers' money efficiently and effectively to get the outcomes we want for citizens across the UK. But she was clear that she wanted it in that it was a press release that the reporters went through the fine tooth comb and realised that this would mean teachers, uh, firefighters, uh, others, nurses, even in the public sector would also have their pay docked. How on earth was that allowed to go out when no one saw the dangers? Well, no, look, actually, if you look at the wording of the, the, the release, what it outlined was uh, if you were to do this across the board, but Liz was very clear, that was never the case. We were never going to be dealing with or changing the pay of people who are working in the public sector. Have worked then why, the why withdraw it then? COVID, particularly the challenges of that. What, it was, what, what was she was looking at and what was outlined and what was being looked at was what you do about new people coming into the civil service, new contracts as they come in. But Liz was clear yesterday, we're not going to take that part of the package forward, but the wider package around dealing with Whitehall waste, dealing with the fact we've seen the civil service grow by about 91,000 over the last couple of years, is something the government does need to deal with. The current Prime Minister's been clear about that. The Treasury have tasked all of us, I was tasked as a Secretary of State to deal with that within our department. So we do need to do that. As a so state, why, sure why withdraw taxpayers it? Taxpayers' money efficiently and effectively. So th why withdraw it then? Because as I say, she, as they said we're not going to take that part of the package forward. She wants to focus on dealing with how we grow the economy, deal with how we put more money in people's pockets quickly, not waiting seven years and seeing so what happens. So it was, it was a waste, of, a waste of time, a waste of effort then? Well, the wider package, as I say, around dealing with waste in Whitehall and making sure we're spending taxpayers' money efficiently and effectively, I think is important. It's something she does want to take forward. But she's also been outlining over the last few days her determination to deliver for farming, her experience at DEFRA, making sure that she, we can have food security here in the UK, set our farmers free, deliver an improved education offer for our students across the country. One of the things we should be building on the excellent work that's been done over the last few years, because that's how you see real levelling up, the ability to benefit from educational opportunities, to benefit from the jobs of the future as they are developed. And I've seen that in my own constituency and I want to see more of that across the country, as does Liz as Prime Minister.